Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah. Today I'm here with an exciting video on this look on my face right here. I basically used some of the products I got for my birthday and created this look without really knowing where I was going with it, what I was doing. I think it's quite a summery look apart from the lips which are sort of autumny, wintry, but I like this brown. I would wear this even though, you know, weather, summer, all that. But yeah, I'm really happy with the final result. If you want to see how I got this final look, please keep on watching. I also just wanted to give a little bit of a disclaimer. I am not by any means a makeup artist. I have no qualifications. I just love makeup. I almost collect it. I've got a lot of it. And yeah, my family have always said that like, I'm really into it and they think I'm pretty good at it. Some of my friends do too. So I, as a hobby, just love doing this and Obviously, that's what I'm doing now. I'm sharing what I know, how I do my makeup with you. If you disagree with the way I do it, that's fine. If you agree, if you like the way I do it, that's fine too. But yeah, I just wanted to say I am not telling you what to do. I'm just sharing my knowledge from what I've learned and also just how I like to do my makeup. I'm excited to finally jump into a proper makeup video. I've got like a voiceover and everything. It's going to be really cool. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much, guys. Here we go! Okay, jumping straight into it, I'm starting with the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer over my oily areas and where I have enlarged pores. This just helps to mattify the skin a bit. And then I'm going into the L'Oreal Lumi Magique base over my cheeks to give me a bit more of a luminous finish where I'm not oily. My foundation today is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation in the shade Vanilla. This is my favourite foundation ever and I'm laying it, a little bit, layering it up a little bit to give me a bit more coverage. This is quite matte so if you're dry skinned you might not like this but I absolutely love it. And then I'm just going to dust a bit of the RCMA No Colour Powder over my eyelids to get rid of the oil before going in with concealer under my eyes down the center of my nose, forehead and chin. And I'm just gonna be blending this out with my beauty blender. The concealer I'm using today is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light. Now, this wasn't as pigmented as I was expecting, nor was it as, as light as I was expecting, but it did the job for today as I was testing out my new products. I also use it as my eyeshadow base. <laughs> And then I'm just setting all of that concealer with the RCMA No Color Powder. This is a loose powder and I absolutely love it. I don't really set my concealer with anything else. After I've set all my concealer, I go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade Transparent just to set the rest of my foundation in place. Now I'm going in with bronzer. This is the Sephora brand bronzing powder. This is the first time I've used it. This one's in the shade number one Claire Light. Now, it was quite orange compared to what I'm used to. I'm used to more of a cool toned bronzer, but I worked with it. And then I went in with the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer for contouring. I also use the bronzer to contour my nose. I don't really like the shape of my nose, so I try to make it something which it isn't. <laughs> For blush today, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Captivating. For eyebrows today, I'm going to be using an eyeshadow because I don't actually own an eyebrow powder yet, but eyeshadow has been working really well for me. You can take any eyeshadow which matches your eyebrows. As you can see, I'm just blending it through my eyebrows and shaping them and cleaning up the edges with a bit of foundation. Now time for eyes. I am using the Naked Heat palette for my eyes. This was new for me for my birthday. Firstly, as a transition shade on a blending brush, I'm taking the color Sourced from the palette. Just blending this pretty much all over my eyes so the rest of the shades blend in nicely when I'm a bit more precise with those. And then I'm taking the shade He Devil to darken that up a little bit more. For this, I'm just using another small blending brush. I then go in with a bigger, softer blending brush and blend that out with a bit more of Sourced. With the same brush we used for He Devil, I am taking a bit of the shade Cayenne, I think that's how you say it, 
and darkening the crease up a little bit more towards the outer V portion of my eye. For the lid shade, I first went in with a brush and the shade Lumber, but it didn't come out as pigmented as I liked, so I took a bit of it on the surface of my ring finger and shaded that all over my eye. Well, my eyelid. <laughs> And then to blend out the edges of Lumber, I used the shade He Devil and the blending brush we used from before. Not bad. <laughs> Under the lower lashes, I'm going to be smoking it out with Sourced and then darkening it up a little bit more with Dirty Talk. Now I'm just curling my eyelashes to prepare for mascara. The mascara I'm using is the Jordana Lash Princess Volume Mascara. It's like in a little pink bottle. I love this mascara, it's so good and it's so cheap as well. And then once the mascara was all put on, I just quickly ran off camera and applied some Model Rock lashes. These are in the style W376 with some duo clear lash adhesive. Now I'm going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop and yes, this is the one done by Jaclyn Hill. I'm just applying this over my cheekbones temples, eyebrows, no not eyebrows, um, brow bones, inner corners of my eyes and then I eventually do down the center of my nose and my cupid's bow as well but I forget that in this part. Look how gold it is and shiny, I love it. <laughs> and now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Blau, Blau Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Medium Dark. I love this to set my eyebrows and I like doing this after highlighter because sometimes I get the highlighting powder in my eyebrows and I don't like that at all. And now I'm just sharpening the lip liner I'll be using which is the Essence Lip Liner in the shade 11 in the nude and I'm just lining up my lips for the lipstick. The lipstick I'm using today is the Urban Decay Little Vice Lipstick in the shade 1993. Obviously this comes in a larger form but I got a little pack of the smaller ones for my birthday. Here is where I highlighted my nose and my cupid's bow where I forgot earlier. So guys, here you have the final look. Obviously I was sort of just going with the colours and products I had, the new products that I had because this is a like trying new things video and I think the final look I've come up with is quite summery and pretty, obviously the lipstick's a bit brown so I guess it could be more of like a autumn look as well. If you pair this with more of a pink lip uh, or like an orangey red lip, it would definitely be a summer look. In terms of the products, I just wanted to give a brief description of what I thought of them, the new ones that I use. So firstly, the Urban Decay Heat Palette. I used on my eyes. Love it. Uh, all the colours a girl could want really. I mean look at this warm eye look. Like I feel like they don't really, like the payoff is different um, to what you see in the package but I love these eyeshadows. Um, they're very easy to blend, pigmented and they blend over each other really nicely as well. Becca Champagne Pop. Obviously I have that as highlighter on. It's very gold but like okay I love it like when I'm tanned this will obviously be perfect and it looks quite nice with what like the color combination on my face today. I really like this highlighter and it like it's not chunky at all it just looks seamless and Stunning on your skin. Tarte blush in Captivating. Really nice blush. It's not like, I feel like it's more pigmented so you definitely need a softer hand when using this product. I just use a stippling brush and yeah, but like again, it does blend quite easily but it, they are more pigmented than what I usually wear for blushes. Also the Sephora brand bronzing powder in the shade Claire Light. This, although it doesn't look it, was very orange, like ridiculously orange. I was not expecting it to be that orange. Um, I don't know if I, if you saw, but I blended it out with the powder brush because I just needed to lighten the color. But in the end, it's come together quite nicely because obviously my eyes are quite orange as well. And I don't know if you can really see it on my skin, but I'm telling you now, it was like, whoa, a Too Faced Born This Way concealer as well. This was the first time I've ever used this. Obviously it's a little one because I wanted to try it out and see what I thought. This one's in the shade light. It's quite, 
yellow base and obviously my skin's quite pink but it blended out okay and that's one thing it blended out there's not much coverage to this but in terms of like an everyday concealer one you just use you know if it's not like a too glam occasion like me I'm just gonna go out although this is quite glam but it's me this is nice but like if you're expecting like a bright under eye it's not gonna happen like I don't feel like it's that bright but it blended out okay even on my pinker skin tone even though this is quite warm toned I'm a cool toned skin uh, that stuff confuses me. But yes, that's another new product that I used on my face. And also a new product I used. Oh, in terms of blush as well, I was debating whether to use the Tarte one or I have the California little benefit blush. But that one looked really pink and I wasn't quite ready for that today. And then also on my lips, a new product I used. Was that all? Yeah. A new product I used was the Urban Decay little Vi one of the little vice lipsticks. Obviously, they, become, they come in big vice. So it's just this small little one in the shade 9. 1993. This is a comfort matte. This slid on beautifully. These lipsticks clearly are amazing. The colour is obviously there. They're creamy and they are matte. I can rub my lips together and it's not chunky or anything. There's a few different formulas in this pack. So there's a comfort matte, cream and metalised. Um, I was debating whether to use the cream one but it looked a bit too pink for what I had going on with my face and my eyes and stuff. But um, yeah, really happy with this colour. I think it's a really nice colour. This is my sort of colour because I never wear two nude colours anyway. So this to me is considered a nude although it is quite brown. But yeah, all in all, pretty damn happy with this final look. I'll give you guys a little close up. <laughs> I don't know how the, like these girls who, who do all these sul sultry poses and they're all like, I can't, I can't do that. Hope you enjoyed this video. As I said in the beginning, I am not a makeup artist, so by no means do I know really what I'm doing. I've sort of just watched a lot of YouTube videos. I've sort of picked up tips from YouTube videos. So if you pick up any tips from this one, let me know in the comments below, share your thoughts on this look, and if you have the products and are gonna recreate it, that'd be sick too. Um, or even if you have different eye looks with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, I would love to see them as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it uh, also if you want me to do any product reviews like in-depth product reviews instead of like a whole face let me know that as well like this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up um, don't forget to turn my post notifications on as I got told by Oscar I think his name was in my vlog and um, also if you don't like this video feel free to leave gosh that was a mess there <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in my next video Mwah. bye